Hello, everyone. This is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. Welcome to the One Bitcoin Show. Today is December the 10th, 2018. Strong hand, value your wealth in Bitcoin. Offended by selling, be a unique beast unconfiscatable and of course holder of last resort we've got one of those right here right now francis pulio is joining us from a basement of a korean restaurant in calgary he's got such urgent information we just got to get him on in the middle of his meal in the middle of calgary francis welcome to the show you are muted there. hi adam hi adam yeah we made it we made it it's it's a it's a play Pleasure to be here. So yeah, I would actually have a uh, look at the owner. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm having a great time right now, and uh, I'm gonna be sharing a beer with of yours. Uh, it's been a, a hell of a week so far, a hell of a weekend, and yeah, I'm excited to talk about what I've been doing. Okay, talk, tell us all about bull Bitcoin. Just tell us what this is. We've heard BTC Benny, he brought it up. Now it's your time. Full disclosure here. Bring, put it all out there. All what's going up? It. What's going on in Canada? All right, all right. So I mean, I mean, I guess the the start of the story is, I'm assuming uh, some of the viewers might know me from Twitter and stuff like that. But I've been running a, a Bitcoin company, a Bitcoin fintech startup, um, from Montreal. Uh, um, previously, I had been like a, a cash Bitcoin broker, Bitcoin ATM operator in Montreal. Kind of developed and getting new people to buy Bitcoin, um, and then I started to uh, i bought and acquired bill was the world's first um bitcoin bill payment solution and canada's first and largest Bitcoin in 2015 and i took over the development and management of that company and kind of scaled the whole company and and and, and <laughs> Tactical difficulty here. Uh, uh, Bills is, you know, the kind of uh, people in, in in Canada. And at the same time, in Calgary, right, you can't hear me? Uh, it went off a little bit. There was the connection yeah. got real bad there. But keep going. In Calgary, yeah. You there? Oh, crap. All right. I might be. Uh, the, the next time. Yeah, yeah, I'm there. I, I hope this much. Um. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can. It, it, something went wacky there for a second, you know? Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, uh, if, if now is good, I'm just going to keep talking. Is that OK? Yeah. OK. And, and I see someone in the chat is is asking uh, when Bills is going to accept Dash. Um, Bills is never going to accept Dash. And Bull Bitcoin is never going to accept Dash. Is a very outspoken and very proud Bitcoin maximalist company. And not only has Bills need altcoin, but bull Bitcoin will never trade in any altcoin. Uh, we're going to be focusing exclusively on Bitcoin. So um, the way that bull Bitcoin came about is that um, this company, Bitcoin Brains in Calgary, was the first ever like physical Bitcoin store doing like Bitcoin brokerage and Bitcoin GPUs at the, at the time and like ASICs afterwards and stuff like that. And for the last years, we've been like really good friends. We work together against Bitcoin Unlimited. Um, producing this like economic nodes of Canada, like letter against Bitcoin Unlimited. We work together for USF, no 2X. We work together for like Bitcoin arbitrage and reducing pricing volatility and regulation in Canada. So we were kind of like two companies that always kind of worked together um, to bring Bitcoin about because we had the same values and we had the same business model. So it was just natural for us to just merge our efforts because what we want to achieve is that We've been really disappointed in the companies like Coinbase, BitPay, and Blockchain Info. I mean, I strongly dislike those companies. Do you have any market share in Canada whatsoever? So the goal with was simply to um, take uh, the Bitcoin Corporation Canada and Satoshi Portal's Bitcoin outlet and bills applications, which allow people to spend their Bitcoin, sell their Bitcoins, and buy Bitcoins, combine them into this bold Bitcoin company now application and our goal is to become the bitcoin company of canada and to really build out the bitcoin economic and software infrastructure for a bitcoin standard and 
really just replace BitBase and Coinbase. Uh, BitPay and Coinbase. So we're going to be, um, the Build Bitcoin app is going to include bills, is going to include um, software and features for people to buy and sell Bitcoin. And the idea is that we're going to take the lead in the market and make sure that the development of the Bitcoin economy is done with the right values. Um, so this merger makes us Canada's largest Bitcoin brokerage in terms of volume. So we definitely, have, it's not like we're starting from scratch. Both of our companies have been operating for about five years, like bills for five years and Bitcoin brain since 2013. Um, so that, yeah, that's that's the general idea. Um, and we're basing this in Calgary, uh, Canada, and uh, it's gonna be a, a Canada only company, um, which is gonna be doing pretty much every single sector of the on-ramp and off-ramp. And um, Bull Bitcoin is gonna still be taking over uh, the financing of our Cypher node and the Montreal Bitcoin meetup that I've been running, the Calgary Bitcoin stuff that Dave has been doing. Um, so we're going to get all of the kind of earlier that we hope to get all of the early adopters and all our, the early Bitcoin maximalists under one brand and one team um, in order to kind of, you know, um, create those products and services that people are going to use. Because democracy. Like you can't, if you don't like the way that the Bitcoin industry is heading, you can't vote them out. You can't vote out the big companies that are influencing the way that this industry develops. The only thing that you can do is build tools that people are going to use and you put your own values and your own kind of best practices and ideologies into those tools and applications and try to make, you know, it's a free market of ideas, right? And we need to compete with the free market of ideas in Bitcoin products and make sure that the, the Bitcoin starts if Francis and that the, the this all right francis you hear me francis oh god yeah we got we're getting a bad connection here people sorry about that i think i think you're getting the point i got an important question for francis though once uh he uh gets back on he should cut the video probably let's see See, this is this is what you get when you're doing a you're doing a show from a Korean uh, Korean restaurant basement in Calgary. Pound that freaking like button, people, if you want Francis to return and to to hear his uh, his wisdom here. That was an interesting uh, reply he gave to the dash uh, the dash fan out there. Yeah, there there he's definitely taking this old school with this idea, keeping it uh, in the in the Bitcoin family, which is a question I'm going to ask if he sees. Uh, is this a trend or more people going uh bitcoin only so as you can see he's frozen right now and we eagerly eagerly await his uh unfreeze there we might have to uh bear with us here maybe i maybe i'll get somebody else on the show uh hey blake i see you're in the chat do you want to go on the show uh, <laughs> and talk in uh in the uh in, instead of uh, Francis here, you can uh, talk for Francis, not representing Francis, but, uh, you know, just to get a, a, a special uh, a special guest on as we uh, eagerly await uh, Francis to return. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get another uh, special guest on here instead of Francis. Uh, one moment. <laughs> if, uh, if Blake is uh, listening, I sent him a uh, link in the uh, in the Twitter DM. Ah, but I have my son in that. <laughs> no, he can't. He can't come right now. <laughs> he can't come on. He's dealing with his uh, kids. He's a, uh, yeah, that's, that's a, hey, all right. So Francis has disappeared temporarily. I have faith. I have faith that he is going to come back here in a second. Well, I have hopes. Now, if he, if it's just not working, if the Korean connection isn't working, what are you going to do? um well in the meantime what a, oh, oh there we go look he's back does that look like uh, francis or what all right francis you're back okay i'm back all right you know what you should do is this working yeah it's working now please you should, maybe you oh should, yes 
Testing one two one two. Uh, maybe we should do maybe we should do audio only. Maybe that that might save us some bandwidth. I, I, I can't hear you, Adam. Just wait a sec. All right. Sorry, everyone. Don't worry. They're patient. They were they're enjoying everything. All right. You hear me now? This won't be long. Don't, don't worry. Yeah. Oh, the I'm test, back. Testing. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I'm totally back. Okay. Do you yes. hear me? You hear me? Yes. Yes. All right. So what were we yes, saying? I hear you. What were we saying? We were talking about. Well, this is the thing. Why? Why Calgary here? Are there tax incentives, or is it? Uh, is it better to start a business in Calgary? What, what, what's the? I, you know, we were hanging out in Calgary just in July, and I thought this is this is a great place for for Bitcoin because right now in Canada, you think about Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver when you're talking about thinking about Bitcoin, but you've chosen Calgary. So what's up with that? Yeah, sorry. I think I, I think I may have missed a, a part of the conversation there. And sorry again to our viewers. Uh, for those wondering where I am, I am definitely in the back of a Korean restaurant kitchen. Um, I got kind of taken off guard on my schedule, and I spent too much time here. But I, I'm doing well. Uh, I'm not in a, I'm not in a military base or propane store. Um, for people asking in the chat. So um, yeah, uh, we chose Calgary for a bunch of reasons. So the the first and obvious reason is that. Is this no, we, we we hear you. We hear you. You're good. Am I, am I back? Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. Oh, we're just getting into it. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay. <laughs> Pal, oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Go, Pal go, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um. <laughs> all right. So so I I chose Calgary um for for a few reasons. First of all. Obviously, that's where my business partner Dave Bradley is from. That's where Bitcoin Brains is from. So, I mean, we definitely do have a a home base of operation here. I've been working. I've <laughs> I've been working with uh, with Bitcoin Brains and Dave Bradley for quite a while. So, I mean, it's not like I'm moving to like a, a new random city. Um, Calgary has a, a an established Bitcoin uh, operation here, which I'm merging with, but. I mean, obviously, we could have went to Quebec, and we didn't. We chose to go to Calgary, and there's like three main reasons for that. The first one is just a general political and regulatory and tax environment. It's much more this market in in Alberta. It, it's it's a much more environment from a policy standpoint. Um, the second idea, the second reason, is really you good. Right. Sorry. This is the the worst the worst interview ever <laughs> in terms of tech. Sorry. Um, so 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 the, the second reason is the culture here that we don't have in Quebec. So here in Calgary, um, it's kind of a, like oil and gas country. It's definitely a business uh, a country where um, people are used to making like these big deals and go big and like invest a lot of money into these 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 new sectors. So. It's the culture of making deals, big deals here is definitely present. And in Quebec, there's a culture of if you're going to make a deal with someone, you need to make sure you don't ruffle any feathers. You need to make sure you stay within consensus. You need to make sure that, you know, some committee gets some approval. And it's just a really long and arduous process. And I think we're the kind of people that we just want to go big, fast, really quickly. And we really don't want to waste too much time on a bureaucratic process. And Calgary definitely had um, this mentality. And also because you know, um, in Montreal, you know Satoshi Poto and Bills, we already, we already, sorry, can you? Yeah. You know Satoshi Poto and Bills, like we already have big presence. We have a development lab. Um, we work on open source Bitcoin projects there. We have a team of ten people in Montreal. Um, so I think it's, it's it's natural for the team in Calgary connection and we can see the team out throughout Canada I mean I don't I don't want to um, just develop um, a whole set of expertise in one city I, I you know we this to make for a market to make you know to make Canada great again this east west and uh, um, and these the Alberta one, the Quebec one, which are quite different than the Toronto and the the Vancouver one. As far as I'm concerned, I think 
um, Alberta and, and Montreal, Montreal and Montreal have much more and have a, a much stronger bullshit filter. It's you know, ideals and blah kind of stuff than, uh, than Toronto. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, so, so, so that's really the, the reason why we can integrate. I really, I've been really enjoying it. All right, um, quick, uh, quick overview here. Do you hear me all right? I hear you fine. Okay, good, because you've been going out a little bit. Uh, you said with, with the uh, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin bull, bull Bitcoin, uh, by the way, and that is linked to below. I linked to Francis below. I linked to the business below. You said you're going to be able to buy and sell Bitcoin there. That's the main service. What other what other services are being provided there? It seems like you're kind of organizing the community too and trying to to, to set up this Bitcoin only vibe. Yeah. So um, everything that's already being done by Bills and Bitcoin out previous apps is going to be obviously continued in full Bitcoin. So Bills allows people to log on the website. And basically just select whichever person they want to pay money to. And by I mean Canadian dollars. That can be like we have a list of about 9,000 billers. So imagine when you log into your bank account, you're like, I want to pay, um, you know, pay my utility bill with Bitcoin. Um, I'm going to like type, you know, Fortis BC or something like that to show up in the list. And I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to give my number I look at my bill like account number I put in there and I want to pay 200 bucks and that's what you do with your online bank well, that's what bills allows you to do with with Bitcoin you just again you create a biller you select the account you select the amount you want to pay we create like a, a, a Bitcoin payable invoice it's there for a long time so you can just if you miss a 30 minute window you just refresh it you set your Bitcoins there and you're done as as you're concerned, you just send the Bitcoins to the invoice and then we're just going to pay the bill for you. Um, if it's not on your list, then you just add the biller. You just put him on the list. All the person's bank account. That's really it. Person's bank account and an email address. So when you send us the money, we can tell him, hey, this person sent us the money. It's on its way. Um, so it's just the same way you want to pay your landlord. You just say, hey, landlord, give me a check sample. I'll do you as a biller and bills and, and, and pay you. Um, so that's been working fine for both and we've scaled the platform, we're going to be uh, extending that to online checkout merchants. So we're going to be taking over base business and take care of the markets. The API that we built in this third building, you know, um, the spot and get paid and the next day sell to your bank. Same, same reason we're doing a peer-to-peer -peer invoicing tool. So if you're someone who's getting paid but you don't have an online checkout, well, you want to get paid by a client that, wants, that has Bitcoin. You don't want Bitcoin. You want to get those. Um, you don't want a guy like a Bitcoin mail. Even if you don't want to convert, we're going to have tools for when well, you don't even have to log in and you can send invoices if you don't want conversion. So imagine right now, like you're a lawyer. This happened to me so many times and it's so frustrating. You're a lawyer. Like, I'm going to say, okay, I need to pay you five, five bucks in Bitcoin. They just send you a Bitcoin address by mail, like an amount of dollars. And then you're like, what trade do we use? Uh, it's time to log the rate. Super complicated. So we're going to create a tool for people to be able to do that. We're going to be hosting cases of signed cryptographically with PGP and timestamp. All sorts of good stuff. So we're definitely building out a bunch of apps. So on the infrastructure we have, the next set of apps we're going to be building is remittance. So a lot of the Calgary community, for example, is sending uh, remittance to Philippines. And in the Philippines, there's actually a very large amount of like cash out channels where people can cash out Bitcoin and get delivered, like for example, by a scooter to a house, like a bag of cash. So we're going to be building like an interface for people that want to use these remittance channels, but they need a place in Canada to get the Bitcoin that the place wherever they're sending the rent is to um, uh, needs Bitcoin to cash out. Um, other stuff that we have in mind is definitely rolling out a network of Bitcoin ATMs and kind of revamping the, the cash Bitcoin trading sector. Um, the cash sector is a little bit unscalable right now, and it's definitely ripe for some disruption. The, the margins are like crazy high. Some people charge like 10% fees to buy, 10% fees to sell. So we hope to really massively narrow that margin and create like a better user experience. And they're coming. 
All right. We're we're now now the connection's really getting uh, out of whack there, uh, Francis. Oh. Oh. Well. You you good? You hear uh, me? Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> Francis, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. It. All right. Good. Let me let me ask you a uh, a final uh, a final question here. Uh, people are saying this is like the crypto winter here. But you're, I, I admire you. You're in motion. You're actually starting a new business. Are you guys hiring? Francis? <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you. I heard crypto. No, 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 no. Are, are, are you guys, are you guys hiring? Are you guys hiring at your company? Oh, we're hiring. Oh, yeah, totally. Right now, we're a team of combined with the merger um, I'm not exactly sure how to count on, but I think probably 12, 12 or 13 people in total involved in the project. And we then we have to do the year. So yeah, we're absolutely hiring. We're hiring um, uh, developers um, in Montreal and in Calgary. Um, but we got kind of back end side kind of help. We're looking for application developers and mobile and um, you know, front end designers and that kind of stuff. We're also hiring um, expert can have a Bitcoin training operation. All right, Francis, now you're really, it's getting, you're basically off right now. Uh, but hey, we got to wrap it up. Obviously, the connection's terrible. Uh, but thank you for being on. I think people got the point. People got the point. This dude is doing something big out there in Calgary. Uh, I'm glad to see that. I predicted there'd be big things out there. I'm glad he's partnering with the Dave out there and Benny is working there also. Um, you all know BTC Benny. So, hey, man, this is uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this. And this is really um, it's an interesting trend to see if people are going this Bitcoin I'm, maximum. I'm back. Money. I'm back. All right. You're back. I'm back, Adam. Yeah. Shit. So yeah, sorry, guys. So sorry about the 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 crap. Um, I'm back on my phone. Am I uh, you? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that's that's totally better. That's totally better. Sorry, guys. Yeah, man. It's it's gonna it's gonna be pretty ugly when you look back on this. It was chopping a lot, but we're still on now. We're, we're still on. Oh here. wow! And we can still we can still talk. Don't worry. Um, what what I was gonna say is uh, it's it's great what you're doing out there and everything. And do you see this as a trend? more companies going this BTC maximalist route because I mean, you're, you're just laying it all out there. You just said, you just like shot down that dash guy. You're like, no way I'm Bitcoin. I'm a Bitcoin <laughs> maximalist. Do you see, I mean, do you see other companies uh, going this route that you guys are? I mean, I definitely hope it becomes a trend. That's kind of the idea. Um, um, I think it's definitely a trend amongst the user base and the Bitcoin experts and the people that have been in Bitcoin for, for a long time, and also some of the newcomers since 2016, 2017, I definitely see a trend where we're all disgusted by the scam, the front, the Ponzi schemes, the pyramid schemes, also known as, known as ICOs and altcoins, like all, all of this bullshit blockchain tech that claims it can cure every single ill, selling snake oil to these companies, billing 500 bucks an hour for bullshit blockchain prototypes. Like everybody sees that and they're like, well, I'm not part of that industry. Like, I'm not part of that. I'm, I came here for sound money. I came here for censorship resistant digital cash. I can I came here for, you know, Australian economics and, and privacy. Like, I come here to participate in this massive hype bubble. Um, so there's definitely like a kind of revulsion and disgust and like righteous anger in a way that I feel. And we're tapping into it because like that's that's the way we feel so yeah there's totally a bunch of other companies out there i mean blockstream has always been kind of an inspiration for me they've been sticking to their mission the whole time and the idea of like having a strong mission and core values as a company and sticking to it no matter what is really attractive to me um other companies like you know um huddle huddle is like a peer-to-peer -to -peer bitcoin exchange who i think shares kind of the same philosophies um, there's there's wallets, there's Lightning Network developers. A lot of the Lightning developers and the Lightning Network companies are also sharing this vision. Um, if you go, if you look at who participates in the Baltic Honey Badger Conference and all of those speakers and and all of that massive trend towards let's focus on what really matters. That's sound money, that's censorship resistant digital cash, immutable ledger, 
trustless validation of your own finances and financial sovereignty and censorship resistant bearer asset digital cash. These are like the core value propositions of blockchain. And like, you know, let's stop the bullshit, stop the distractions. And like, these are the killer apps of blockchain. And the more we spend time focusing on distractions, the more our opponents, which is the central banks, the bank of, nationals, the bank of international settlements and the financial sector, they can have time to think of strategies to reduce Bitcoin's influence. So right now is kind of the time where Bitcoin is at a, is at a level where it's starting to freak people out. I mean, it's not because the price is down that people are not scared. Like people in central banks, people in governments and people that want to control the financial economy with quantitative easing and the printing of money, they're starting to get scared because they've realized that Bitcoin is harder to shut than they believe. And they're not fooled. Like you think you, you see like Nouriel and all these guys in Krugman, they're laughing at the press of Bitcoin going down, but they're not stupid. I mean, they are kind of dumb, but they know that they've said the same thing twice and they've been wrong before. So they're, you know, they're just happy to be Schadenfreunde and like, you know, um, getting their moment, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they're actively trying to stop stifle Bitcoin. So right now is the time to double down on Bitcoin. The best year in Bitcoin was 27, uh, was 2015 when 2015 was the bottom of the bear market. Sorry, excuse me. Um, when 2015 was like the bottom of the bear market, that's the time where we started building my company, Bills and Satoshi Portal. That's the time where all the Bitcoin companies that you know and love today, like BitMEX, like like Binance, like they were developing their stuff. So this is the time to build. And like I'm super bullish. Like this, this is like a normal market cycle. And um, I'm I'm definitely I definitely think that right now is the time to double down. And by doubling down, I mean avoiding all distractions, which is all coins and ICOs. These are also not, it's not only impractical and a distraction, it's also unethical because money should be hard to create. Money should be uh, super difficult. Money should not, people should not create money for the sake of making profits. That's that's a scam. People should make money um, uh, and people don't, shouldn't make money. I mean, money's already been made. Like Satoshi created the first money and we all together make this monetary system. Um, people shouldn't be creating money out of thin air to fund their projects. They should just be doing VC funding like everyone else and stop like externalizing all the costs on other people. It's just unethical and we're not going to participate in that at all. Wow. Now I have a one, one final question about a big name out there. Have you heard about Trace Mayer with this proof of keys.com idea he has? Yeah, I think it's a really great idea. Bold Bitcoin is hundred percent non-custodial. So when you're selling Bitcoin on Bold Bitcoin, you're not funding a Bitcoin account and Bitcoin wallet where you have Bitcoins there that you can spend. It's like one invoice, you send Bitcoins there and the fiat comes out. We don't hold your Bitcoin. I mean, obviously by the in between you pay your invoice and the fiat gets sent. I mean, clearly like, I mean, it's not like instantaneous. So there's a lag where there's money that's in, in shipment, but we don't hold your Bitcoin. When you buy Bitcoin from us, you need your own Bitcoin wallet. Like you need to create a download a Bitcoin wallet. You need to do your backup. Like when you buy Bitcoin, it's set directly outside the website. So we don't believe in key custody. We're never going to do key custody. I think the January 3rd, um, uh, uh, like withdraw to your own key um, uh, awareness day by Trismer is a fantastic idea. I think there's no better way than to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Bitcoin than to assert your rights and your, your right to property and your self-ownership and your financial sovereignty. I think that's fantastic. And I can also say that I've actually been working and financing a bunch of open source projects, including CypherNode. And we do have a gift for Bitcoin on January 3rd. So for Bitcoin's 10th birthday, we're going to be releasing some kick-ass software, which is going to enable people to run nodes in a much easier way and take back control of their financial sovereignty. So there's two cardinal rules in Bitcoin. It's own your own keys and run your own node and run your own node means run your own node fully validate your own blocks, fetch your own UTXOs, broadcast your own transactions. And what Trace Mayor is doing is for the custody of the keys. So you own your own keys exclusively. And what we at both Bitcoin and Cypher Node is doing is run your own full node. So if you do these two things, you are a sovereign individual for the digital age. And it's really hard to do today. And the idea is that we're going to make it easy for mom and pop to own their own keys and run their full nodes. And we're not going to stop until everybody can do it. No one left behind. All right. Yeah, that is a really important point. I hope people are still here. He said he's going to make it easier for mom and pops, pops to run their own node. To, to, you just, I mean, that is, I hope you can do that. That that would be, because right now it's not, it's not easy. I mean, 
it's very intimidating when people hear Trace talk about that. I mean, a lot of people, when I had Trace on the show, he was saying that you yeah. got to do that. And most people are like, what the heck? I, I can't. But, but it's, not, it's not that hard. It's not that hard to fix up a problem. It really isn't. I mean, there's two aspects to running a node. Um, there's deploying it on a server, on a computer, which can be difficult. And there's physically accessing it. Like, so right now, Bitcoin developers and developers have like a superpower which is they can talk to computers and they can deploy nodes and they can inter like, interact with the command line utility and have all these advanced functions. But all it takes is for product developers to create user interfaces that will one, automatically have like a one-click deploy launch of nodes or come with pre-install nodes, just like Nodal or Casa and BitNodes and all those things. Like what we're doing at CypherNode is we're having a one-line install for your computer. We're also having a partnership with a, a, a web hosting company where all you have to do is you go in your web host, you take your API key there, you stick your API key in the launcher, you say, I want to launch my node. As long as you have money on your server, the, the self-executing software, which is client-side and which you download, is just going to launch and spawn your own node over there. And we're going to generate a self-hosted web interface, which is hosted on your own server. So. It's going to be just like logging into a blockchain or info web wallet or any kind of web wallet or web service or whatever, but it's going to be your own backend. Like no, absolutely no third party whatsoever. You're going to be hosting it either on a server, on a Raspberry Pi or on your computer. So it's like, in, you know, when you're installing a router these days and you kind of just type in the IP address in your browser and then you log in and then you can configure your router and that kind of stuff. Like we're going to make it easier than that. Like running a Bitcoin node and running your own entire Bitcoin backend, your own Electrum server, your own Lightning nodes, your own open timestamp nodes, all that kind of stuff is going to be just like configuring your router. So that's that's the plan. And like, I mean, it's happening. It's uh, well, I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta say that's really big news. I think you should open. I think that should be one of your main talking points. Actually, making it easy for mom and pops to run their own uh, full node. I mean, that we're gonna. Yeah. Get, I mean, that's. That's huge. I, mean, I hope people yeah. stuck. I hope people stuck around for that, man. That's. Uh, <laughs> but I wish but you, the, the thing is, we I kind of already announced it because, like, when I went to Honey Badger, CypherNode was operational in bills since three months. So we 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 wanted to use that software that we're gonna op like it's already open source that we're gonna officially package and release for Bitcoin's birthday. Here we go. I just ruin the surprise but i mean um we had been using it internally for for quite some time and i announced it in riga that i was working on this thing and you know once i announced it we just kept working on it and we got external contributors and developers uh shout out to skp my favorite uh, favorite guy in the world uh, he's an open source contributor that's been devoting an enormous amount of time to making cypher a success amongst amongst others like kex um like kexki and myself um so um, we're going to be announcing it, obviously, and branding it. Uh, we're definitely going to be doing some marketing for it. It's free and open source software. It's kind of like BitCore. If people know the BitPay product, BitCore is open source backend, uh, but much, 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 much better. It's kind of like BTC Pay server, but it's much more light and it's much more multi-purpose than just merchant online checkout. It's going to be a full like suite of utilities for mom and pop to not only run their own node because that's easy, but for mom and pop to take advantage of a full node in the exact same capacity that, you know, Bitcoin core developers take advantage of their full nodes, like really get into these advanced functions, advanced configurations in a way that's easy to make sense so that they're not just running their own node. They're actually in control of how they interact with the blockchain entirely in an easily understandable way. Okay. And this service, again, this is, this is something anyone all over the world can use this. This is not just Canadians, people, because we're most of your business, the buy and sell part of it is all only Canadian stuff. But anyone can yeah. get into this. Anyone can get Oh yeah, yeah, totally. So so Bull Bitcoin is gonna stay exclusively Canadian for all like the brokerage and payments and exchange operations. But CypherNode is open source self-hosted software. So we don't even know if you're using it. I mean, as far as I know, I'm the only person that's ever gonna use it. I'm gonna but that's fine. I built it for myself first and foremost. And I built it in a way that I'm a non-technical guy. I don't program. I don't code. Some people are surprised by this, but I have never written a single line of functional code in my life, but I want to run Bitcoin. So um, anybody in the world is going to be able to download and use this. We won't even know you're using it. We're not involved at all in the thing. Um, and you can customize it as much as you can. And if you want to help, please 
just reach out. Like we're looking for developers. And if you want to build a Bitcoin app, you don't need to use Block Cypher API, BitPay API, Coinbase API, Blockchain Info API, or Blocker API. Just run your own API. It's one line of code. Like you, if you're going to get a developer to build a Bitcoin app, just control your own Bitcoin node. It makes no sense to use these third parties that are telling you if you receive money or not in what chain you're transacting on. And if you're a Bitcoin user that wants to use a full node, like I want to make it so that you can use it. And if you cannot use it, then work is not finished. Well, I mean, this is this is huge news. This is I, this is very unexpected. I didn't know I was going to hear this today. I want to say Bitcoin memes today. Thank you for the uh, Norwegian Krona, 20 of them. He said, crypto winter, but I have more BTC than ever. That's great, dude. Strong hand. Pound that freaking like button. I'm sure we're all, everyone values their wealth in Bitcoin that's on this show right now, trying to get more Bitcoin. All right, uh, Francis, thank you very much. I don't want to keep you from your meal any longer. Any conclusionary thoughts, anything you want to add, contact information, anything news? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, um, um, to conclude, you know, I named my company Bull Bitcoin because I've always been bullish on Bitcoin. I'm super bullish on Bitcoin today. I've actually never been this bullish on Bitcoin. I wish I had more fiat. I wish I wasn't already all in on Bitcoin. Um, so that I can buy more Bitcoin. And my goal with Bull Bitcoin is to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible. And we're going to lead by example and be institutional corporate holders of Bitcoin. So I know people are clearly upset about the price going down. And I, I know it's, it may seem heartless for like OGs like us to say, well, this is our third crash. So, you know, get through it. You know, you, you need your stamps. It's definitely hard. Like I, when I got into Bitcoin, it was November. Like when I get, did like my first big like, like investment in Bitcoin. I was in Bitcoin for a long time before, but when I really kind of went all in, it was like September, October, November, 2013. And the price was going up. And like, guess what? The first two years of my life in Bitcoin was a constant bear market. Like I haven't seen, an, I didn't see an all time high. for like, after like, when I started working at the Bitcoin embassy it was January, 2014. That's when I actually got my first job and I quit my job in Bitcoin. So like, that was like two years of bear market, right? It was, but I, I was so stoked, like Bitcoin is about more than the price and the price is important as a metric of the success of Bitcoin for sure. The price matters, price matters for Bitcoin definitely. But like price is a long-term thing. We're building something that's gonna last a hundred years, 200 years, 300 years. And you know, the price of Bitcoin needs to go up for security to be maintained. There's no doubt about that. Bitcoin is about deflation. The price of Bitcoin must go up for Bitcoin to be a success. But in the short term, we're going to have these ups and downs. And, you know, people like some people say, oh, Bitcoin's a Ponzi and the early adopters are using this spirit to cash out until the bottom. Well, that's not true. Like, as far as I'm concerned, like all of the people that are involved with our project are doubling down on Bitcoin right now. And we're sure hell are not exiting. I'm actually being super careful about my spending. I don't want to spend any Bitcoin right now. I don't want to sell any Bitcoin right now. I wish I was making more fiat right now to buy Bitcoin. So we're here to stay. And, you know, if it means anything to anyone listening, um, like we're not exiting. I don't have an exit strategy. Like you'll, you'll, you'll know when I exit from Bitcoin, when, when you see my tombstone and that's it. Yeah. This is a man who practices what he preaches. If the ship were to go down, he'd go down with it also, just like me. But the ship's not going down, baby. So again, he's talking about controlling your own private key. He controls his own private key. He's teaching people how to do it. This full node thing is freaking awesome. Francis, thank you so much for being on the show. Bullbitcoin.com. I, Bull forgot, I, forgot, I, I forgot to show my own company. Sorry. So um, Bullbitcoin.com, if you're Canadian, you can go there and get, a, get an invite code for the... Uh, the exclusive beta app period before uh, before the, before 2019. We're going to do it like uh, invite referral code only. If you are a user of Bills, um, you automatically have the referral code. So like kind of a cheat code is just get a Bills account and you automatically get a full Bitcoin invite code. Shouldn't say that. Um, but uh, otherwise, um, get an invite code from, from the website and, and put your email and check out bullbitcoin.com. All right, dudes, everything is linked to below that we talk about, the, his company, his own uh, Twitter, the company's Twitter. So you follow him, check it out. You got a lot of uh, inside information on this show if you made it through the whole show, people. Okay, and, thanks. And, oh. and, and, and just for the late viewers that are wondering where the hell I am, I am in the back of a Korean restaurant in the, in the, in the, on my way in the basement, um, totally in the, the kitchen staff's way. 
Um, so that that that's the, that that explains the really weird setting I'm in right now. Sorry, yeah, that, everyone. That's what I love about Bitcoin and doing these shows. I get people all over the place. I've never done an interview from the back of a Korean restaurant in Calgary, but hey, it's a first. It's awesome. We we persevered. There was technical difficulties. We made it through it. Can you name the oh, restaurant? Made it. Can you name the restaurant so people oh, can go eat there? I have literally no idea where I am in this restaurant. I just I just had I had a meeting and I, I don't know. I I. I I double booked. I double booked you. Sorry, Adam. Dude, I, I, I have no idea where I am. All right. I, I'm on the internet. That's all that matters. That is all that matters. All right. Eat Korean food in Calgary, people. I'm Adam Meister, the big time Meister, the disrupt Meister. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video. Check out the notes section below. Pound that like button. Thanks a lot again, Francis. We'll see you all later. Bye bye. Th th thanks so much, Adam. See you later.